Hey everybody, Paul here, back with Hyrule Warriors. In the last episode, we just finished the Sorceress of the Valley. And now, we have three new options. And when I'm recording this, it's the day after I uploaded my other video, I only got one comment, which was to do the Land of Twilight. So let's get that one done. Uh, so we're going to be able to use Lana's new weapon, the spear. And I was able to get some more of these. Let's do this one, because uh, what that 3,000 means is after I defeat 3,000 enemies, I get this staff's uh, the spear's ability. So let's use this one. Lana stepped through her portal and found a jarring sight. Wherever she looked, the kingdom was consumed by shadow. Though she knew of the Twilight Realm, she had never seen it firsthand. Lana's sorcery could not reveal who or what was causing the Twilight to cover Hyrule so completely. She soon came upon a small village beset by monsters. Her mission to close the Gate of Souls would have to wait. This should be fun. Let's get started. <laughs> Ooh. So let's try out the staff right now. So far, I like it. Let's see what else it can do. It's pretty fun, actually. Oh, that's cool. I like that. What else can we do with it? Did that already. Um. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So you can use this one multiple times. Nice. Um. Can we not go through here? Oh, we can. Okay. So is there something we can do? Uh, let's go save the villager real quick, just because we can, and we'll be able to take out some guys real quick, too. So, I wanted to talk about something this episode that I just found out about today, uh, when I'm recording this, and it's something that makes me really happy. So they finally came out with the release date for Super Smash Bros. Wii U. And it's a lot sooner than I thought it would be, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, it's supposed to be coming out in November 21st, and uh, that's when they're also releasing a lot of the Amiibo characters that they were talking about. Some of those just look really good and well handcrafted. Um, I'm thinking about getting the $100 one that comes with the game and the adapter and the controller. And actually going to be doing an unboxing video of that. And probably also some unboxing videos of the uh, characters too. Because I'm going to be getting... They come out at the same time as the game. So why not do that with it? Do some really cool boxing video, unboxing videos. Because those characters I, I would have on my desk like normally. Getting Agatha next? Oh, that'd be cool. Then we get to play as her in the next area. I would like that a lot, actually. 
Because Agatha's pretty cool. She's the bug lady. Uh, <laughs> they call her the bug princess and like, all the stuff. But... They always, like, have a question mark about that. Which is kind of true. Uh, because she's kind of weird in Twilight Princess. So, yeah. That's kind of a funny little thing. I thought it was funny how they added her into the game as a playable character. And yes, I t like I said, I do know who what the playable characters are, just because I wanted to know for good reasons. I mean, why not? Okay. I like this one the best so far. Because it's really fun to do. Oh, oh, we have a new little enemy here. Flying enemy. Beat him. And let's check out this. Oh, so she summons like little Deku scrubs that shoot out things. <laughs> I don't know what they shot out because I couldn't really see. But oh well. Okay, let's get going to the area. Uh, I can't see. Maybe it's not this way. Or is it? I think it is. I think we just have to wait for Agatha. Come on, Agatha. Come on, Aggie. Come on, Aggie, baby. Give it to me, Aggie, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sorry. I had to. <laughs> I'm having fun, though. You know? And I thought of another game I might be able to let... Um, might be Let's Play next. Uh, I'm gonna keep that a secret though, and, and maybe it's a game that's coming out, maybe it's not. I'm going to probably have a video about it later on, and we'll see. Come on, Aggie. Come on. Come on, little Agatha. Come on. Who's your good girl? Come on. What is she doing just standing there? Is she really just walking really slowly? Go. I hope I'm not just waiting for her for nothing. Watch, I probably am. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure she's gonna come in here. Yeah. Yeah, I have to get Agatha over there. See, so, yeah, I was talking about the Amiibo, char Amiibo characters, and they're really cool. Especially, like, uh, the Donkey Kong, the Link, Marth, Villager, Fox, all of them. They're really cool looking. And they're really well designed. And... Speaking of Link, uh, Donkey Kong, and Fox, those are probably one of the cooler ones I liked. But who knows? Maybe I might get other ones. We'll just have to find out on November 21st. Ooh, you excited as I am? Pretty excited, actually. It should be a lot of fun. And wow, I'm taking out a lot of guys as Lana right now in the Deku staff. So far, I like the Deku Staff a lot better than the Spell Book, or Spell Tomb, or whatever that is. Because I guess I just didn't really like the way that was. I don't know. It, it was a weird item, I thought. Okay, and... No, he's not done yet. Um, there we go. So we got him, we capture the outskirts keep, and let's head over to the next area. And can we capture this area? I see some other things I want to do real quick while we wait for Agatha to go over to there. Like... Take out this outpost captain. So far, I really like this game. Um, maybe a little bit more than Pirate Warriors and Pirate Warriors 2. Then again, this one was after both of those, so it's going to be a little bit more polished, I think. So, yeah. It's a lot of fun, though. Again, 
I recommend it if you have not played it or bought it yet or any of the following. Because it's a great game. I mean, again, I'm, on, I'm only on the fifth part of this series, but... No, I, I can have an opinion still. And my opinion is I really like this game so far. <laughs> it's a fun game. And now we can go this way. Because where is Agatha? Is she already in here? Oh, there she is. Okay. And are we going to be able to capture this area? Oh. is another boss, I guess, for this area. Um, that's kind of odd. Or, well, it's not really odd, it's just kind of cool. And I guess, that, I don't know. I, I don't get it. Maybe we'll talk about it more. I mean, it's for the same reason Sia is the way she is. Because uh, Sia, if you don't remember, used to be good. I mean, she used to be on the... Uh, she used to be like a fairy, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. So, maybe it's the same thing that happened to her? I guess we'll find out. Maybe she just doesn't realize who we are, which is a possibility. I mean, we are kind of a weird person. And we captured Westfield. And it looks like someone's heading this way, so let's go capture them real quick. Before they can do any damage. And it's Minna. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of characters here. Or a lot of enemies here. Let's test out this right now. Okay, so that seems like it's the weakest out of all of them. So she might be a... The staff might be a good weapon normally. God, she's good. Uh, but it looks like it's special isn't too good. Oh, I wonder if we might get Midna next. Either we're going to be getting Agatha or Midna next, I'm pretty sure. Because those are the only two Twilight Princess characters besides Xant that are in this. And unless we're going to be playing as Lana again next part, or the next area... Unless it's just the... I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess, right? <laughs> so let's keep going, then. Oh, and let's look out for Skulltulas. Because... Yeah, there it is. Let's go after that real quick, you guys. Because... Skulltulas are great. Okay. Oh, no. Going exactly the wrong way. Let's go this way. Get past the dark night <laughs> and go right and slightly left, slightly right. So uh, another game I've been playing recently has been that that I've started playing again is Persona 4, <laughs> the uh, one for PS2. They, I just found out. Oh, let me just find the sculpture. I found it. Okay. They, uh, I just found out that they released it for PlayStation 3, 
which is really cool since they don't really have any PlayStation 2 games on PS3, except for ones that you can, unless you have a PS3 that can play PS2 games, which I don't, even though it's like one of the first, uh, one of the newer models, or not newer, one of like the first models th uh, that came out. I've had this PS3 for a long time too. It's amazing how long I've had it actually. And I'm not going to be selling it or anything. I mean, it's a great system. I enjoy it. Just like, you know, I enjoy my Wii U. Many people don't really enjoy the Wii U that much. I do. I mean, it's, I think it's a fun system. Like, for games like this and then Super Smash coming out later on this year. And actually, in a few, uh, less than a month. God, no, in about a month. Yeah, a little over a month, sorry. Yeah, jeez. There, there's been a lot of games that have come out. I mean, I've picked up Persona 4 Arena Ultimax recently. I picked up uh, Super Smash for 3DS recently. I picked up... There's been too many games that have come out. Uh, Naruto Shippuden... Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution came out. Um, I've been playing Persona 4 and Persona 3 FES. I've been playing this game. I've been playing Earthbound because uh, I just got that off of the uh, the Nintendo eShop. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. Uh, but luckily I've been able to still play those. I've been able to still record and I've been able to uh, do my school work too which I'm actually really happy about I mean I'm able to multitask well not it's not really multitasking but I'm able to make my uh, use my time efficiently okay let's go over here can I go in there yeah oh wow um, can use that this, that, okay, and let me, let me see how many guys I can actually get with this. Uh oh, Agatha's the fleet. Agatha is fleeing, where is she? Um, I don't know where Agatha is. That's a problem. Okay, and I think I need to, yeah. Uh, let me defeat Midna real quick, uh, well. I'm gonna take this area first, and then I'm gonna go get Midna. Uh, oh god, that's not good. Okay, deck of scrubs, oh, they shoot out seeds. Okay. Come on, let's defeat the Zeralphos. Okay. Now we can go after Midna. Okay. Um Yeah, let's go in through this way. Oh no. Jeez. Too many baddies. Okay, let's try out this right now. And... Oh, cool, she even had a Deku shield. At the end of that little thing. That's kind of a cool little... A uh, little Easter egg, I guess. I don't know if it's really an Easter egg, but it's still really cool. And let's take this keep, and then we'll go up to mid now. God, these air alphas, there's so many of them. Okay, I think we've defeated this one now. Yeah. So now we can go after Midna and reclaim everything. Wow, I've already killed a thousand five hundred uh, enemies. 
I don't know, there's just something really satisfying about killing a bunch of enemies like that. It, it's just... It, it's more fun than have, like being in a dungeon and killing one or two guys at once. And this, you kill like 20 at once. <laughs> Wish they were this easy to beat in the game in the normal Legend of Zelda games. That'd be something. Uh, hopefully I don't lose, cause looks like the Allied base is about to. Oh god, this is not a good time. Okay, so let's continue on this road to killing Midna. Are we going to get Midna? Hopefully soon. Uh, I know Midna's another playable character, I just don't know if it's going to be her or if it's going to be Agatha that we will be getting next. I feel like it's going to be Agatha and then Midna's going to be the boss of the next area too. And maybe Midna you can get from maybe that little thing. Or you'll be getting Midna through Adventure Mode or something. Or maybe you get Agatha through Adventure Mode or from the next area. Who knows? I guess that's what we're going to be figuring out soon, right? Oh, I think we're gonna. I think we're done with it because I can't do any moves right now. Yeah, victory. It's kind of an easy little area. a cool little level. So let's see if we get anyone. We got a fire rod, we got that and that. Minda's hair, piece of dark nut armor, uh or Alphos leather, monster tooth, and metal plate. And we got another little part of our illustration. Cool, so now we can play as Midna. And we got the cursed jack. A cursed shackle originating from the Twilight Realm uses a strong attack button to grab and hurl an enemy with your hair. It will also be temporarily imbued with the power of darkness. A new historical entry is now available. Agatha, Princess of the Insect Kingdom. A new historical entry is now available. Minna, Twilight Princess. Well, that was fun. Uh... Yeah, we can do the Kokiri Sword 3 later. So, it looks like we unlock the Shadow King, which we will be tackling next. And we're probably going to be tackling it as Minda, our new character. Hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. See you next time, guys. Bye.